Meg twists has around fingers. Has ruined compared to past if still greeted ears by lethal Meg. Prince Harry's personal life has been scrutinized by the press and watched by the world since he was a young boy, including his love life. While the Sussexes are enjoying a more private life, they have made a number of appearances together in recent months. The Duke of Sussex had two other serious relationships before meeting Meghan Markle in 2016. What were they like and how has Harry grown since his dating escapades were first thrown in the limelight? Prince Harry's first serious girlfriend was Chelsea Davy, followed by Cressida Bonis. The press at the time expected the Duke to marry British socialite Cressida, but their relationship in the spotlight was reportedly too intense for the young actress. Before his third and final relationship with Meghan, what was Harry like while in love with Chelsea and Cressida? According to body language expert Judy James, the Duke of Sussex has learned a lot from his previous relationships and he was different in each one of them. First came Chelsea Davy, who is now 36 years old. Harry met businesswoman Chelsea in South Africa in 2004 and the couple were in an on-and-off relationship until 2010. Judy claimed Harry was relaxed while with Chelsea, saying, she seemed to bring out much more open and unguarded body language from the prince, who looked happy to flirt and have fun in a way that suggests his highest levels of relaxation. The body language expert continued, Harry's body language responses do seem to feed off the women he is dating, suggesting he is a bit of a pleaser and Chelsea, who is known for her perma smiles and almost constant laughter, showed Harry at his least tense and most natural, looking like any other young guy out on dates. Chelsea looked very upbeat and oozing with social confidence. There is little sense in these poses that she is dating a royal, or that she is bothered by any press attention. Her spontaneity seems to match Harry's natural state, with the pair kissing and using eye contact to flirt in a very unself-conscious way. There are several photos of Harry and Chelsea kissing in public, and Judy added that this was the emphatically fun version of Harry, looking his most relaxed in all of the three big relationships. As for the prince's relationship with Cressida, 31, whom he met and began dating in 2012, this was described by Judy as anxious and guarded. She continued, with Cressida there were undeniable signs of tension and a rather more negative and anxious energy from Harry. In complete contrast to his more open and relaxed body language displays with Chelsea, both him and Cressida look self-protective in public, using barrier rituals like face touching to suggest a wariness of any press interest or intrusion. There are several photos of Harry and Chelsea kissing in public, and Judy added that this was the emphatically fun version of Harry, looking his most relaxed in all of the three big relationships. As for the prince's relationship with Cressida, 31, whom he met and began dating in 2012, this was described by Judy as anxious and guarded. She continued, with Cressida there were undeniable signs of tension and a rather more negative and anxious energy from Harry. In complete contrast to his more open and relaxed body language displays with Chelsea, both him and Cressida look self-protective in public, using barrier rituals like face touching to suggest a wariness of any press interest or intrusion. Prince Harry is on track to host a major Hollywood event two years after stepping down from royal duties, a royal commentator has claimed. Prince Harry, 37, could be one of the hosts at the Academy Awards 2022 on March 27, it has been claimed. After three years without a host, the Duke of Sussex might join star-studded guests at the Oscars ceremony, according to royal commentator Ross King. Speaking on ITV's Lorraine, Mr King said, Back to the Oscars, there is talk of Tom Hanks, Richard Gere and Prince Harry which goes to show you any old Tom, Dick and Harry can host. It comes as a source told OK. That Meghan and Harry have been invited to all the big events and planned on attending the Oscars too but they'd almost certainly come face to face with Stuart since she's a lock for a Best Actress nomination.
cautious way. There are several photos of Harry and Chelsea kissing in public, and Judy added that this was the emphatically fun version of Harry, looking his most relaxed in all of the three big relationships. As for the prince's relationship with Cressida, 31, whom he met and began dating in 2012, this was described by Judy as anxious and guarded. She continued, with Cressida there were undeniable signs of tension and a rather more negative and anxious energy from Harry. In complete contrast to his more open and relaxed body language displays with Chelsea, both him and Cressida look self-protective in public, using barrier rituals like face touching to suggest a wariness of any press interest or intrusion. There are several photos of Harry and Chelsea kissing in public, and Judy added that this was the emphatically fun version of Harry, looking his 